dear students welcome to you for the second uh, session on uh, the poem mother to son written by langston hughes uh, <coughs> i am dc patil i mean devra c patil uh, presenting this uh, second <coughs> uh, presentation on uh, the poem mother to son uh, in the earlier uh, uh, video i had introduced the, the poet with a brief account of his life and i discussed uh, the text of the poem i read the text and i uh, <coughs> He explained each and every line of the text with different possible meanings, uh, and also uh, mother, how she addresses the son about the dangers and difficulties of life. We discussed that with the general meaning that. any mother advises uh, her son that to encourage to face life that to encourage the uh, encourage the struggle in life to reach a goal or to get a success so the general theme of the poem is already discussed in the earlier session Uh, now what we aim at uh, to discuss again the same poem in this session i want you to read the poem to find out the symbolic points of views to find out the symbolic uh, images or elements that uh, support you to uh analyze the poem with the different points of views and also through reading the text you can identify some of the things in the poem that can be the difficulties of the black in the white society and also there are certain images to symbolize something more than literal denotations i mean some of the images are used in the poem they mean not only what they are they mean something beyond their uh, literal meaning and that itself is the nature of poetry because poetry is literature in concentration prose is literature in dilution that's why if you read a an essay it uh, uh, means the same to large number of uh, readers but if you read a poem it means one meaning to you but the same poem may mean something else to some other reader that's why it is very often said that a poem has the capacity of giving the meanings as many as there are number of readers so you will be able to identify the images uh those symbolize something more than literal denotations then let us move on to the interpretation possible beyond the text if you if you remember how that uh, poem begins that mother well my dear son say begins to say listen to me like that the mother in the poem is not just mother 
mother can be taken as the black society mother can be taken as the black society as the experience of life of the black community as a whole and then the language used in this poem with uh, some grammatical mistakes uh, that stands for afro american culture in one way we can uh, see uh, that it stands for afro american culture in one way in other way we can also see it as the protest against the cultural and intellectual domination of the white in the white society see to protest against the cultural and intellectual domination in the white society the poet without any hesitation uses that mistaken grammatically mistaken sentence mistaken line in the poem mother to son <clears throat> then racism i think is a very important uh, theme of this poem but nowhere in the poem from the first line to the last line the word racism is used the word race is used even the word the black man or black people or negro or african man no such words are used in that poem throughout uh, <coughs> the text but still we can see uh, we can perceive see seeing is different from perceiving seeing is something uh that to see what it is but perceiving is something that to find what it is not what it doesn't appear to the physical eyes so racism is an issue that is uh, indirectly discussed by the poet that is indirectly brought out by the poet by the speaker in the poem and how the black people were exploited because they are black for the reason that they are black they are exploited and how the black people were oppressed they were suppressed they were exploited and also they were made to suffer inequality they that they are made to suffer uh, the lack of freedom the lack of lack of liberty and with no opportunities to uh, live a happy life or to live a comfortable life to live a facilitated life and that is also a very important uh, theme of this poem as we go through that text we feel so if you are really uh, getting into the depth of the poem uh, you will find this theme uh, <coughs> which is uh, intended by the speaker but the speaker speaks through the mouth of a mother and that's why in the beginning it's by told here mother is not just mother mother stands for the whole community's history the whole community's culture the whole community's background the whole community's experience uh, as the black uh, uh, who faced lots of difficulties in life so with this point of view we can read the poem <coughs> then what are the other evidences for the theme of racism in uh, the text of the poem in all the lines of the poem if you go through you will get some of the evidences the literal evidences 
but surfacially you may not feel this kind of a meaning in that words but if you go into the depth you can understand or you can compare some of the things to uh, the things that are related to uh, racism the things that are related to the problem of apartheid or apartheid that is what we call color discrimination so in this way let us get into the poem and see and uh, try to seek for some of the words that are the evidences for the theme of racism the first one in the second line of the poem itself you, you can uh, have this uh, phrase no crystal stair it is uh, used there in the second line of the poem itself no crystal stair what does it mean the difficult way of life for the black we can uh, elaborate its meaning in this way we can mean uh, this, this 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 phrase no crystal stair as difficult way of life for the black and then you proceed on to the other lines in the darkness even this phrase is also there in the darkness what does it mean the practice of apartheid the practice of color discrimination the black deprived of the opportunities of education the black were deprived of occupation the black suffered uh with the lack of freedom of expression the lack of uh liberty so this uh, word dark is also there in the poem which can be symbolically understood as the practice of color discrimination the practice of apartheid or apartheid in american society and also just after the use of that word dark there is uh, another uh, phrase no light see no light means no law enacted no law is enacted in american administration or in american governance to protect the black to protect the rights of the black to protect the interest of the black to protect the freedom of the black and also to provide justice to them so no light and at the same time we can understand no light they don't have the opportunity to get good education because knowledge is light knowledge is light so that shows the path of life such a knowledge is not available for them because they are not entitled to get good education because they are not treated as their citizens or american citizens they are treated as second rate citizens due to their color because of their color so even that no light then setting down on the steps setting down on the steps settling down it is not setting but it is settling down on the steps means who usually sits on the steps one who is a degraded one one who doesn't have any dignity one who is having no identity he will stay on the steps he will uh, settle down on the footsteps so such a life is forced upon 
him because of his color and it is another phrase we can uh, identify and explain it in this way uh now let me before going to annotations how can we critically appreciate the poem the mother to son how can we critically appreciate the poem mother to son with the, the point of view of racism with uh, the approach uh, of racism in the that poem the poem reads that a mother advises the son to move ahead in one's life without having any fear without uh, having any uh, setback without uh, losing confidence don't get back you go ahead like that any mother advises son it is a common or general meaning one can uh, understand but on the other hand as the uh, the readers uh, as as the studiers of poetry we can go beyond the lines we we have to read between the lines the blankness of lines gives more meaning than the lines filled with words so it is also uh, said by some of the great critics so <clears throat> how can we critically appreciate this poem uh, with the point of view of racism uh, the theme of racism in this poem is that langston hughes himself is an afro american poet langston hughes himself is an afro american poet that itself is the evidence and certainly he has expressed his discomfort discomfort pain of being ill treated as the second rate citizen and uh, this poem might be the result of his feeling feeling of pain so here he speaks through his mother's mouth uh, because this mother may be the motherland of those who are born and brought up in america they may be black but they are born and brought up in america that's why america itself is their motherland and that's why the, here the mother is not just mother mother is black society mother is the black culture the mother is america itself because america is their motherland and that america itself speaks to the younger generation of the black that to tolerate don't run away from these difficulties face once you will get liberty once you will get get justice once you will get equality sanctioned by the constitution of america so in this way the mother is made to speak to her younger generation and that voice of the mother penetrates the hearts of uh, the younger generation and that might be the intention of the writer to speak through the mouth of the mother and uh, see all that advice is uh, delivered by the mother to the son all that advice delivered to the son by uh, mother is the mother's experience of life in america as a black it is 
the experience of life in america as a black and that experience is presented to her son means to the whole younger generation of the black and with that introduction of her experience of life to the son she tries to train him up to reach the goal which was intended by herself she might not be fully successful in reaching that mainstream or in reaching that goal of uh, getting into the mainstream and that she wants to fulfill her desire uh, with her younger generation with the help of her younger generation and that is her own experience what is that experience that is she lived throughout her life in american society that is dominated by the white where these people due to their color are treated as second rate citizens and that's why their life became a very very tough one very very difficult one and it was not so easier not so clear it was mysterious and it was intolerable this kind of a life she has come up through this kind of a life she has come up through and that she presents to her son so it is not so easy it is not crystal stair usually the life is like a staircase that we uh, step upwards and reach the landings and take the turn and once again we up uh, uh, through the steps and go on the floor to reach the top position but it is not so easy it is all her experience and that's why she presents her experience uh, uh, to her son in the form of an advice and another point see the first point why langston use uses the voice of a mother to address the son and the second point all that is presented in the poem is the experience of life mother's experience of life in america where there is a society dominated by the white okay It, this is the second point and the third point is uh, the symbols of ill treatment if you get into the poem will have some of the words in the text and those words are the symbols of the blacks ill treatment the blacks exploitation the blacks oppression and the blacks suffering due to inequality due to lack of liberty due to lack of freedom so all this we can understand when we get into the poem uh, in search of such words that are the symbols of ill treatment what are these words see there uh, practice of uh, color discrimination or apartheid is uh, prevalent in the white society even today but how much it might be in 17th century when this poem was written it might be very horrible it may be very very painful by that time because it was about uh, uh, 300 or 400 years back so this was the burning problem with its uh, uh, greater magnitude and that's why they suffered a lot so the the mother speaks of all that 
suffering all that uh, experience of being uh, the black and what are the uh, things there we can uh, what are the words there we can identify with uh, the difficulties or uh, ill treatment of uh, uh, the black there you go through you will uh, come across the words like uh, tax the the sh the sharp pieces the sharp pieces of iron the sharp pieces of tin the sharp pieces of needles that are uh, scattered all over on the way of uh, on the way that we walk upon and uh, the torn boards the pieces of torn boards because boards are made up of uh, tin and if they are cut into pieces and they will also be very sharp pieces and they will also hurt our uh, body if we uh, touch them or if we put a step upon them uh, they will cut our body and it uh, causes bleeding and also uh, splinters they are the pieces of glass or they may be the pieces of any hard uh, metal or material and even they also uh, wound as they also cause some wound if we walk uh, upon them it means these people lived in a society where there was no safety for even there was no physical safety for them so in such a degraded uh, uh, status they were uh, living and these are the important uh, uh, symbolic words uh, that uh, read ill treatment that read exploitation that read pain that read uh, loss of life loss of freedom loss of liberty and uh, lack of opportunities to work loss of opportunities of occupation so these are all uh, <clears throat> the evidences in the poem we can uh, see then the next point we can discuss uh, that no carpet on the floor bare this line is there in the poem no carpet on the floor bare see no carpet on the floor bare how can it be uh, interpreted how can it be explained here the carpet is not just carpet it is a facilitation it is a provision legal provision for what for the black to get education for the black to get some economic uh, uh, <coughs> opportunities economic development opportunities for economic development and it is uh, the opportunity for uh, the <clears throat> protection of their rights legal protection of their rights equality as the white live freely enjoying their own freedom so the black should also enjoy their own freedom such a law is not sanctioned the law has not sanctioned such equality to the black and such a constitutional provision uh, was not at made to provide justice to these people to provide the protection to these people to protect their rights and that's why the life became very tough for them that's why the life became very difficult for them so that uh, carpet here is facilitation facilitation of what facilitation of constitutional provisions to protect their rights 
constitutional provision to provide them equality constitutional provision to provide them justice and constitutional provision to protect them physically protect them physically in the society so we can understand that one then the next point uh, you, you can see the mother gives a call for consistent effort because with the experience of her life in the past she has got some hope that there will be a day once in future that our community will get freedom our community will get opportunities our community will get the constitutional provision to protect their rights to protect their identity to protect their culture so she has got that hope uh, as the result of her experience of life for decades together she has got that hope that is why she gives a call to his her younger generation to go ahead with the hope that in the future you will really get uh, the days of light you will really get the days of light in future no doubt that is what she uh, uh, <coughs> advises her son <clears throat> and next point i would like to discuss that is uh, language with no grammar here in this poem some of the lines are used with grammatical mistakes why it is not just to show that what kind of uh, rustic language the black people used to speak in it is not just what uh, to show what kind of rustic language the black people used to speak in but with an intention he has used those <coughs> oh, sentences those phrases <clears throat> what are those phra phrases let us see <clears throat> in the poem uh, you 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 see i has been a climbing i has been a climbing this is one sentence so you you can understand why it is grammatically wrong and another there uh ain't been means there are not been there ain't been it is another sentence once again there is a mistake you finds say you finds again there is a mistake i is still going again there is a mistake of using a b form and life for me i ain't been once again that i ain't been is used that uh, perfect tense is mistaken here all these mistakes show that they are not given the opportunity for development they are not given opportunity for education they are not given opportunity for political power cultural uh, uh, <coughs> uh, development that is why by using that language in writing by using that language in writing he wants to project the whole community to the world how this community is kept behind how this community is kept in darkness how this community is made deprived of the right to education right to economic uh, uh, development right to cultural development right to political development see this is the intention that he directly and intentionally makes use of these expressions with a grammatical mistakes i think you could understand 
what I really meant, what I really uh, intended to explain uh, the intention of the writer behind using that grammatical mistakes, the sentences with grammatical mistakes. Lastly, what is the message given to the readers? The message given to the readers is through the mother's voice, through the mother's mouth, the message is given that every black of younger generation should continue their struggle to come up to the mainstream in the American society. As long as they struggled, so long they will uh, get the hope, energy, confidence to continue their struggle. And if you continue your struggle, no doubt a day will come. A day will come in future where the light of hope will be lightened, the light of hope will be lit, which will carry you to the mainstream, carry you to reach the goal that you were fighting to reach, that you were struggling to reach. So till that uh, becomes uh, reality, what to reach the goal or to get into the mainstream, to get equality, to get justice and to be free from uh, oppression, suppression, exploitation, injustice, till that becomes a reality, you should bear all the pains that white society inflicts upon you and you should continue struggling, you should continue battling, you should continue fighting for the justice. And this is the critical uh, appreciation of this poem. I think you could understand how a poem can be uh, thought, a poem can be uh, explained or a poem can be substantiated with uh, such points of views. Illivarigo nannimge e poem na idi text na saramshavanna line by line explain madidini matte ee poem na olage bara anta halu images galna phrases galna nanu list out maadi ninge explain madidini ultimately kannadadal nimge nanu helide iddarinda ond 2 nimishadalli helthini illi obba black community ya thai mother tan magnige ಒಂದು ಉಪದೇಶನ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇರೋ ಒಂದು ಪೋಯಮ್ ಇದು ಆದರೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಒಬ್ಬ ಬ್ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ಮದರ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಬರೀ ತಾಯಿ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಅಲ್ಲ ಅವಳು ಅವಳು ಒಂದು ರೆಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟೇಟಿವ್ ವಾಯ್ಸ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಇಡೀ ಆ ಕಮ್ಯುನಿಟಿಯ ಎಲ್ಲ ತಾಯಂದಿರ ಅಥವಾ ಎಲ್ಲ ಹಿರಿಯರ ಒಂದು ಧ್ವನಿ ಆ ಎಲ್ಲ ಹಿರಿಯರ ಧ್ವನಿ ಐತ ಅದು ಇವತ್ತಿನ ಯಂಗರ್ ಜನ್ರೇಷನ್ ಈ ಯುವಕರು ಅದಾರಲ್ಲ ಅಂದರೆ ಈ ಕಮ್ಯುನಿಟಿಯನ್ನು ಮುಂದಕ್ಕೆ ತಗೊಂಡು ಹೋಗುವಂತ ಈ ಯುವಕರು ಅದಾರಲ್ಲ ಇವರಿಗೆ ಒಂದು ಮೆಸೇಜನ್ನು ಪಾಸ್ ಮಾಡೋಕ್ಕಾಗಿ ಈ ಅಡ್ವೈಸನ್ನು ತಾಯಿ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಅಂದರೆ ಈ ಮದರ್ ಅನ್ನೋದು ಬರೀ ಒಬ್ಬ ತಾಯಿ ಅಲ್ಲ ಅದು ಇಡೀ ಬ್ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ಕಮ್ಯುನಿಟಿ ಅಥವಾ ದ ಹೋಲ್ ನಾನು ಹೇಳಿದೆ ಏನೋ ಈ ಇತಿಹಾಸದ ಪುಟಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಈ ಬ್ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ಗಳು ಅನುಭವಿಸಿದ ಗೋಳಿನ ಬದುಕು ಐತಲ್ಲ ಅನುಭವಿಸಿದ ಈ ನೋವಿನ ಜೀವನ ಐತಲ್ಲ ಅನುಭವಿಸಿದ ಈ ಕಣ್ಣೀರಿನ ಕತೆ ಐತಲ್ಲ 
ಇದು ಆ ಮದರ್ ಆ ಇನ್ಇಕ್ವಲಿಟಿ ಆ ಆಪ್ರೇಷನ್ನು ಆ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲಾಯ್ಟೇಷನ್ನು ಆ ಇಲ್ ಟ್ರೀಟ್ಮೆಂಟು ಅಂದರೆ ಅವ್ರನ್ನ ತುಂಬ ತುಚ್ಛವಾಗಿ ಕಂಡದ್ದು ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಅವರು ಕಪ್ಪು ಜನ ಅನ್ನೋ ಒಂದೇ ಕಾರಣಕ್ಕೆ ಅವರ ಚರ್ಮದ ಬಣ್ಣದ ಕಾರಣಕ್ಕಾಗಿ ಅವ್ರನ್ನ ತುಚ್ಛವಾಗಿ ಕಂಡಂಥ ಬದುಕಿನ ಇತಿಹಾಸ ಐತಲ್ಲ ಆ ಇತಿಹಾಸವನ್ನು ರೆಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಮಾಡುವಂಥ ತಾಯಿಯವಳು ಇಡೀ ಅವರ ಕಲ್ಚರನ್ನು ಇಡೀ ಅವರ ಬದುಕನ್ನು ಇಡೀ ಅವರ ಇತಿಹಾಸವನ್ನು ಇಡೀ ಅವರ ಕಮ್ಯುನಿಟಿಯನ್ನು ರೆಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಮಾಡೋಂಥ ತಾಯಿಯವಳು ಅವಳು ಮಗನಿಗೆ ಹೇಳೋದಂದ್ರೆ ಒಬ್ಬ ಮಗನಿಗೆ ಒಬ್ಬ ತಾಯಿ ಹೇಳೋದು ಅಂತ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಅಲ್ಲ ಆ ಇಡೀ ಕಮ್ಯುನಿಟಿಯ ಯಂಗರ್ ಜನ್ರೇಷನ್ಗೆಲ್ಲ ಒಂದು ಮೆಸೇಜನ್ನು ಪಾಸ್ ಮಾಡೋಕ್ಕೆ ಅವಳು ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಹೇಳ್ತಾಳೆ ನೋಡಪ್ಪ ಮಗನೇ ಈ ನಮ್ಮ ಬ್ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ಗಳ ಜೀವನ ಅನ್ನೋದು ಅಷ್ಟು ಈಸಿ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅಷ್ಟು ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅದು ತುಂಬ ಮಿಸ್ಟೀರಿಯಸ್ಸು ಭಾಳ ಟಫ್ ಐತಿ ಭಾಳ ಭಾಳ ಕಷ್ಟ ಸಂಕಷ್ಟಗಳಿಂದ ಕೂಡೈತಿ ಅಷ್ಟು ಸರಳವಾದ ಹಾದಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಜೀವನದಾಗ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ನಾವು ಹತ್ಬೇಕಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಏನ ಒಂದು ಉನ್ನತ ಸ್ಥಾನಮಾನನ ಈ ಸಮಾಜದಾಗ ಪಡಿಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ನಾವು ಒನ್ ಬೈ ಒನ್ ಸ್ಟೆಪ್ಗಳನ್ನು ಹತ್ಬೇಕಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಸ್ಟೇರ್ ಕೇಸಿಗೆ ಹೋಲಿಸ್ತಾಳೆ ಜೀವನನ ಆ ಸ್ಟೇರ್ ಕೇಸ್ ನಮ್ಮ ನೆಲ್ಲಿ ಕರ್ಕೊಂಡು ಹೋಗುತ್ತೆ ಕೆಳಗಿನ ಪೊಸಿಷನ್ನಿಂದ ಮೇಲಿನ ಪೊಸಿಷನ್ಗೆ ಕರ್ಕೊಂಡು ಹೋಗುತ್ತೆ ಆದರೆ ಹಂಗೆ ಕರ್ಕೊಂಡು ಹೋಗ್ಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ನಾವು ಸ್ಟೇರ್ ಕೇಸಿನ ಸ್ಟೆಪ್ಸ್ಗಳನ್ನು ಹತ್ತಾ ಹೋಗ್ತೀವಪ್ಪ ಆದರೆ ಕೆಲವೇ ಕೆಲವು ಸ್ಟೆಪ್ಸ್ಗಳು ಆಗ್ತದ್ದಂಗೆ ಅಲ್ಲೊಂದು ಲ್ಯಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಅಂತ ಬರ್ತದೆ ಆ ಲ್ಯಾಂಡಿಂಗು ಬಂದ ತಕ್ಷಣ ಒಂದು ಟರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಬರ್ತದೆ ಮತ್ತು ಟರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಬಂದಮೇಲೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ನಾವು ಸ್ಟೆಪ್ಸ್ಗಳನ್ನು ಹತ್ಬೇಕು ಅದು ಹಿಂಗೆ ಸ್ಟೆಪ್ಸ್ಗಳನ್ನು ಹತ್ಕೊಂಡು ಹೋಗ್ಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ಆ ಸ್ಟೆಪ್ಸ್ಗಳ ಹಾದಿ ಐತಲ್ಲ ಅದು ಎಂತೆಂಥ ಭಯಾನಕವಾದ ಒಂದು ವಸ್ತುಗಳಿಂದ ಕೂಡಿರ್ತತಿ ಅಂದರೆ ಅದು ಹೂವಿನಿಂದ ಕೂಡಿರುವಂಥ ಹಾದಿ ಅಲ್ಲ ಅದು ಅದು ತುಂಬ ಡೇಂಜರಸ್ ಆದಂಥ ವಸ್ತುಗಳಿಂದ ಕೂಡಿದ ಹಾದಿ ಕಲ್ಲು ಮುಳ್ಳುಗಳಿಂದ ಕೂಡಿದ ಹಾದಿ ಅವನ್ನ ಅವಳು ಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಮಳೆಗಳು ಶಾರ್ಪ್ ಆದಂಥ ಚುಚ್ಚಬಹುದಾದಂಥ ಮಳೆಗಳು ಬೋರ್ಡ್ ಸ್ಟೋರ್ನ ಅಪ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಈ ತಗಡಿನ ಬೋರ್ಡ್ಗಳನ್ನು ಚೂರು ಚೂರು ಮಾಡಿ ಬಿಸಾಕಿದ್ರೆ ಹೆಂಗೆ ಅವ್ರ ಮೇಲೆ ಕಾಲಿಡಕ್ಕೆ ನಾವು ಭಯ ಪಡ್ತೀವಲ್ಲ ಅಂತ ಬೋರ್ಡ್ ಸ್ಟೋರ್ನ ಅಪ್ ಅವು ಮತ್ತು ಈ ಸ್ಪ್ಲಿಂಟರ್ಸ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಗಟ್ಟಿಯಾದಂಥ ಮೆಟಲ್ಲು ಅಥವಾ ಗ್ಲಾಸು ಅಥವಾ ವುಡ್ಡು ಅವುಗಳ ಪೀಸಸ್ ಅವು ಕೂಡ ಶಾರ್ಪಾಗಿ ಇದ್ದರೆ ಅವು ಕೂಡ ನಮ್ಮ ಕಾಲಿಗೆ ನೆಡ್ತಾವಲ್ಲ ಚುಚ್ತಾವಲ್ಲ ಇಂಥವೆಲ್ಲ ಇರ್ತಾವಪ್ಪ ಹಂಗಂತ ಅಯ್ಯೋ ಅವು ಚುಚ್ಚಿಬಿಟ್ಟಿರೋ ಗತಿ ಏನು ಅಂತ ನೀನು ವಾಪಸ್ ಬರೋಕ್ಕಾಗತ್ತ ಇಲ್ಲ ಚುಚ್ಚಲಿ ಆ ಚುಚ್ಚದ ನೋವನ್ನು ನಾವು ಈಗಾಗಲೇ ಸಹಿಸ್ಕೊಂತ ಬಂದಾಗೈತಿ ಹಂಗೆ ನೀನು ಸಹಿಸ್ಕ ಒಂದಿನ ಅವು ಯಾವ ಚುಚ್ಚಲಾರದ ಹಾಗೆ ಲೈಟ್ ನಿನಗೆ ಕಾಣ್ತತಿ ಈಗೇನೋ ಡಾರ್ಕ್ನೆಸ್ ಐತಿ ಆ ಡಾರ್ಕ್ನೆಸ್ನಾಗ ನೀನು ಅವನು ಚುಚ್ಕೊಳ್ಳೇಬೇಕು ಮುನ್ನುಗ್ಬೇಕು ಅಂದರೆ ಅವುಗಳ ಮೇಲೆ ಕಾಲಿಡಲೇಬೇಕು ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ನೀನು ಚುಚ್ಚಿದ್ರೂ ಕೂಡ ನೋನ ಈಗ ಸಹಿಸ್ಗ ಆದರೆ ಮುಂದೆ ಯಾವತ್ತೋ ಒಂದಿನ ಲೈಟ್ ಅನ್ನೋದು ನಿನಗೆ ಕಾಣ್ತತಿ ಈಗ ಆ ಲೈಟ್ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅದರದೇ ಆ ಬ್ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ವೈಟ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ಗಳ ಜೀವನದಾಗ ಸಾಕಷ್ಟು ಬೆಳಕೈತಿ ಅಂದರೆ ಬೆಳಕು ಅಂದರೆ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಇದೆ ಎಜುಕೇಷನ್ ಇದೆ ಹಣ ಇದೆ ಅವರು ಎಕನಾಮಿಕಲಿ ಡೆವಲಪ್ ಆಗಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಅವರು ಕಲ್ಚರಲಿ ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಂಗ್ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಡಾಮಿನೆಂಟ್ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಶ್ರೀಮಂತರು ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಪೊಲಿಟಿಕಲಿ ಪವರ್ಫುಲ್ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಅದು ನಾವು ನಮಗೆ ಅವು ಯಾವೂ ಇಲ್ಲ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಜೀವನ ಕತ್ಲೆಯಿಂದ ತುಂಬಿಟ್ಟತಿ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ನಾವು ಸುಮ್ಮನೆ ಹಿಂದಕ್ಕೆ ಬಂದುಬಿಟ್ರೆ ಹೆದರಿ ಓ ಕತ್ಲೆ ಐತೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಹೋಗೋಕ್ಕಾಗಲ್ಲ ಅಂತ ನಾವು ಬೆಳಕು ಕಾಣೋದು ಯಾವಾಗ
ನಾನು ಅಂದ್ಕೊಂಡಂಥ ಹನಿ ಆ ಹನಿಯನ್ನು ನಾನು ಸವಿಯೋಕ್ಕಾಗಿ ಇನ್ನೂ ಕೂಡ ಹತ್ತತಾನೇ ಇದ್ದಾನೆ ಹತ್ತಾನೇ ಇದ್ದಾನೆ ಹಂಗೆ ನೀನು ಕೂಡ ಯಾವತ್ತು ಹಿಂದಕ್ಕೆ ಬರಬೇಡ ಬೀಳ ಬೀಳದಂಗೆ ನೀನು ನಿನ್ನನ್ನು ನೀನು ಕಾಪಾಡ್ಕ ಬೀಳದಂಗೆ ನಿನ್ನ ನಿನ್ನ ಕಾಪಾಡ್ಕ ವಾಪಸ್ ಬರೋ ಯೋಚನೆ ಮಾಡಬೇಡ ಮನ್ನುಗ್ತಾನೆ ಇರು ಒಂದಿನ ಒಂದು ಒಳ್ಳೆ ದಿನ ನಿಮಗೆ ಜೀವನದಾಗ ಒಂದು ಬೆಳಕು ಥರ ಅಂತ ಒಂದು ದಿನ ಬಂದೇ ಬರ್ತದೆ ಅಂತ ಆ ತಾಯಿ ಮಗನಿಗೆ ಅಡ್ವೈಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾಳೆ ಆ ಅಡ್ವೈಸನ್ನು ನಾವು ರೇಸಿಸಮ್ಮನ ಅಡಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಈ ಪೋಯಮನ್ನು ಹೆಂಗೆ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಅಂತ ಈಗ ನಾನು ಚರ್ಚೆ ಮಾಡಿದೆ ಬಹುಶಃ ನಿಮಗೆ ಇಡೀ ಈ ಪೋಯಮನ್ನು ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟಾಗಿ ಅರ್ಥ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಳ್ಳೋ ಅಷ್ಟು ನಾನು ಇನ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಷನ್ ನಿಮಗೆ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದೀನಿ ಅಂತ ಅಂದ್ಕೊಳ್ತೀನಿ ಈ ಪೋಯಮಿನ ಮೇಲೆ ನಿಮಗೆ ಅನೋಟೇಷನನ್ನು ಕೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಆ ಅನೋಟೇಷನ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ಸು ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಫಾರ್ ಮೀ ಆರ್ಂಟ್ ಬೀನ್ ನೋ ಕ್ರಿಸ್ಟಲ್ ಸ್ಟೇರ್ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಇಟ್ ಅಂತ ಆರಂಭದಲ್ಲೇ ಎರಡು ಸೆಂಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಎರಡು ಲೈನ್ಸ್ ಬರ್ತಾವೆ ಅವನ್ನ ಕೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಅಂತ ಇಟ್ಕೊಳ್ರಿ ಆಗ ನೀವು ಆ ಎರಡು ಲೈನ್ಸ್ಗಳನ್ನ ಬರೀಬೇಕು ಆ ಎರಡು ಲೈನ್ಸ್ಗಳನ್ನ ಬರೆದು ಈ ಲೈನ್ಸ್ಗಳನ್ನ ಐಡೆಂಟಿಫೈ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಅಂದರೆ ಐದು ಪೋಯಮ್ಗಳದಾವಲ್ಲ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಸಿಲೆಬಸ್ನಾಗ ಅದರಾಗ ಈ ಲೈನ್ಗಳು ಯಾವ ಪೋಯಮ್ನಿಂದ ತಗೊಂಡರೆ ಸೊ ದೀಸ್ ಲೈನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಟೇಕನ್ ಫ್ರಾಮ್ ದ ಪೋಯಮ್ ಮದರ್ ಟು ಸನ್ ಮತ್ತು ಈ ಪೋಯಮ್ ಬರೆದವ್ರು ಯಾರು ದಿಸ್ ಪೋಯಮ್ ಈಸ್ ರಿಟನ್ ಬೈ ಲ್ಯಾಂಗ್ಸ್ಟನ್ ಹ್ಯೂಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲ ಹ್ಯೂಸನ್ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಯಾರು ಒಂದು ಸೆಂಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಬರೀಬೇಕು ಅನ್ಸಿದ್ರೆ ಬರೆ ಬರೋರು ಏನು ತಪ್ಪಿಲ್ಲ ಲ್ಯಾಂಗ್ಸ್ಟನ್ ಹ್ಯೂಸ್ ಆ್ಯನ್ ಆಫ್ರೋ ಅಮೇರಿಕನ್ ಪೋಯೆಟ್ ಹೂ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಲಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಕನ್ಸರ್ನ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಪ್ರಡಿಕಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಬ್ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ಕಮ್ಯುನಿಟಿ ಅಂತ ಒಂದು ಲೈನ್ ಬರೆದು ತಪ್ಪಿಲ್ಲ ಇನ್ನು ಈ ಈ ಸಾಲುಗಳ ವಯಸ್ಸು ಯಾರು ಯಾರ್ದಿದು ವಯಸ್ಸು ಅಂದರೆ ಆ ಪೋಯಮ್ಮನ್ನು ನೀವು ಅರ್ಥ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡಿರಿ ಅಂತ ನಮಗೆ ಗೊತ್ತಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಯಾರ್ದು ವಯಸ್ಸು ಯಾರು ಹೇಳೋದು ಇದನ್ನು ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸ್ಪೋಕನ್ ಬೈ ದೀಸ್ ಲೈನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಸ್ಪೋಕನ್ ಬೈ ದ ಮದರ್ ಮದರ್ ತಾನೆ ಮಗನಿಗೆ ಉಪದೇಶ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇರೋದು ದೀಸ್ ಲೈನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಸ್ಪೋಕನ್ ಬೈ ದ ಮದರ್ ಯಾರಿಗೆ ಟು ಹರ್ ಸನ್ ಏನು ಇವುಗಳ ಅರ್ಥ ಅರ್ಥನ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೇನ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಏನು ಲೈಫ್ ಫಾರ್ ಮೀ ಆರ್ಂಟ್ ಬೀನ್ ನೋ ಕ್ರಿಸ್ಟಲ್ ಸ್ಟೇರ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಏಟನ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಅವಳು ಅಂದರೆ ಹಿಯರ್ ದ ಮದರ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ರೆಸ್ಡ್ ಹರ್ ಓನ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಏನು ಹರ್ ಓನ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟಾಟ್ ಹರ್ ದಟ್ ಹರ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಪಾಸ್ಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ನಾಟ್ so easier was not so clear was not so <coughs> easy it was no crystal stair so she has compared here life to a staircase but it is not easier to step up to the landing and step up to the floor because that life has a full of tax means thorns that will prick uh, <coughs> our uh, feet and uh, this is this is the meaning you can explain this and how this meaning of the lines is connected with the total theme of the poem that has to be uh, explained substantiated you have to explain the theme of the poem in connection with these uh, meaning of these two lines and that would become uh, annotation and how much annotation should be in size means how many lines you have to write for for one annotation i would like to tell you one annotation should be less than a page or more than half a page so let it be more than half a page or less than one page that would be sufficient for one annotation because it carries only four marks that's why it's better you restrict that uh, size of annotation to less than one page 
are more than half a page and <coughs> then uh, <coughs> different uh, uh, types of questions can be asked like uh, analyze the poem as mother's advice to son the general meaning you can explain with the, the literal meaning the textual meaning and critically justify the theme of racism in the poem if such questions are asked you have to write all these points that i discussed now and write a short note on the images or difficulties of the black found in the poem so what kind of difficulties the blacks uh, the black face in the american society due to their color that i discussed by taking uh, so many examples so many uh, evidences uh, uh, out of that uh, poem out of the text so on the basis of that you can explain uh, that <coughs> see what you learnt uh, out of this session you learnt uh, how to seek uh, for the evidences of issues like racism discrimination injustice apartheid color discrimination and also you can ascertain the meaning of the language uh, violating grammar uh, is used here what does it mean i i explained and techniques of interpretation of the poem beyond the text you could understand i explained how you can uh, <coughs> elaborate some critical analysis analysis some uh, critical analysis or critical appreciation how you can elaborate substantiate i just discussed with few of the points then on this uh, some mcqs multiple choice questions are made here you see uh, as you listen to my presentation you can uh, answer these questions one of the following is an evidence for racism in the poem you know the poem nalage racism ge on evidence is uh, not an evidence anta agukutta no light <coughs> one of the following is an evidence for racism in the poem dark no light no crystal hani anta ide ha how the ಒಂದು ಇದರಾಗ ಎವಿಡೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲ ಅಂತ ಆಗುತ್ತಿತ್ತು ಅದು ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಆಗುತ್ತಿತ್ತು ನಾಟ್ ಇಲ್ಲ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾವುದು ಒಂದು ಇದರಾಗ ಎವಿಡೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲ ಯಾವುದು ಡಾರ್ಕ್ ಕೂಡ ಒಂದು ಎವಿಡೆನ್ಸೇ ನೋ ಲೈಟ್ ಅನ್ನೋದು ಕೂಡ ಒಂದು ಎವಿಡೆನ್ಸೇ ನೋ ಕ್ರಿಸ್ಟಲ್ ಅನ್ನೋದು ಒಂದು ಎವಿಡೆನ್ಸೇ ಆರ್ ಹನಿ ಅನ್ನೋದು ಇದಾರ ಅದು ಎವಿಡೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ಡಿ ಅನ್ನೋದು ಆನ್ಸರ್ ದೆನ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೂವ್ ಆನ್ ಟು ದ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ symbolic meaning of tax splinters and boards torn up is you know tax boards torn up splinters anta en bandavala words avugala sanketikavada artha you know difficulties of the black black culture black religion na practices of the black you know a difficulties of the black adu black na samskruti alla culture alla ಬ್ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ಇನ ರಿಲಿಜನ್ ಅಲ್ಲ ಅದು ಮತ್ತು ಬ್ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಕಪ್ಪು ಜನ ಮಾಡುವ ಆಚರಣೆ ಅಲ್ಲ ಅದು ಅದಂಗರ ಏನು ಡಿಫಿಕಲ್ಟೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಬ್ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ಎ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಮೂರನೇ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ದ ಮದರ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಮದರ್ ಅನ್ನೋ ತಾಯಿ ಅನ್ನೋಳದ ಮದರ್ ಅವಳು ಬರೀ ಮದರ್ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಆಗಿ ಕಾಣಿಸ್ಕೊಂತಾಳ ಅಥವಾ ಮದರ್ ಬರೀ ಮದರ್ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಅಲ್ಲ ಅವಳೇನು ಓನ್ಲಿ ದ ಮದರ only mother of the speaker ee poet adanalla avun thayana idra bara sannanna thayi matrana the whole black society na none of the above um male ra yavu alwa inga yavudu the whole black society mother andre bari obba thayi alla idi a kappu janangada samaja younger generation ge eno advise maartta ide Dr. Nadu, violation of grammar in the language used uh, in the poem stands for he grammar anna violate maadi mistake maadi sentence galna 
ಬರೆದಿದ್ದಾನೆ ಕವಿ ಇದು ಏನನ್ನು ಸೂಚಿಸ್ತದೆ ಪ್ರೊಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಅಗೇನೆಸ್ಟ್ ಲಾ ಸೂಚಿಸ್ತದ ಪ್ರೊಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಅಗೇನೆಸ್ಟ್ ದ ವೈಟ್ ಸೊಸೈಟಿ ಸೂಚಿಸ್ತದ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ವರ್ಡ್ನೆಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಬ್ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ಅಂತ ತೋರಿಸ್ತದ ಅಂದರೆ ಬ್ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ಗಳು ಎಷ್ಟು ಹಿಂದುಳಿದಾರ ಅಂತ ತೋರಿಸ್ತದ ಮಿಯರ್ ಇಗ್ನರೆನ್ಸ್ ಈ ಇಗ್ನರೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಅಜ್ಞಾನ ಅಂದರೆ ಅವನಿಗೆ ಗ್ರಾಮರ ಗೊತ್ತಿಲ್ಲ ಅಂತ ಸೂಚಿಸ್ತದ ಸೊ ಬಿ ಈಸ್ ದ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಪ್ರೊಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಅಗೇನೆಸ್ಟ್ ದ ವೈಟ್ ಸೊಸೈಟಿ ಅಂದರೆ ವೈಟ್ ಸೊಸೈ ವೈಟ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಆರ್ ಸುಪೀರಿಯರ್ ನಾವು ನಾವು ಏನು ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಅಂತ ಅವರು ಡಿಸ್ಪ್ಲೇ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂತಾರೆ ಆ ಥರ ಇವನು ನಾವು ನಾವು ಹಿಂಗೆ ಅದೇ ನೋಡ್ರಿ ಅಂತ ಅದನ್ನು ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಅವ್ರ ವಿರುದ್ಧ ಇವನು ಪ್ರೊಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾನೆ ಸಿನೋನಿಮ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಕಲರ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರಿಮಿನೇಷನ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಂದರೆ ವರ್ಣ ಭೇದ ನೀತಿ ಅಂತ ನೀವೇನು ಕೇಳಿದಿರಲ್ಲ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಆದಂಥ ಒಂದು ಫ್ರೇಸು ಇದರೊಳಗೆ ನೀವು ಎಲ್ಲಿ ಕಾಣ್ತೀರಿ ಇನ್ಇಕ್ವಾಲಿಟಿ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ದ ಬ್ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ವೈಟ್ ಸಿನಾನಿಮ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಕಲರ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರಿಮಿ ಹಾಂ ಕಲರ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರಿಮಿನೇಷನ್ ಅನ್ನು ಅರ್ಥ ಕೊಡೋ ಅಂತ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಆದ ಶಬ್ದ ಯಾವುದಿದ್ರಾಗೆ ಇನ್ಇಕ್ವಾಲಿಟಿ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ದ ಬ್ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ವೈಟ್ ಅಂತೀರ ಕ್ರೈಸಿಸ್ ಆಫ್ ರೇಸಿಸಮ್ ಅಂತೀರ ಅಪಾರ್ಥೇಡ್ ಅಂತೀರ ಅಥವಾ ಇವು ಮೂರರಾಗಿ ಯಾವುದು ಅಲ್ವಾ ಸಿ ಈಸ್ ದ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಯು ಗೋ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ರೆಫರ್ ದ ಡಿಕ್ಷನರಿ ಅಪಾರ್ಥೇಡ್ ಅಂದರೆ ವರ್ಣ ಭೇದ ನೀತಿ ಅಂತ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಫಿಫ್ತ್ ಒನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅಸೈನ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಯು ಗೋ ಹೋಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಅಪ್ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಆರ್ ಲಿಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಯು ಟ್ರೈ ಟು ರೈಟ್ ದಿ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಆರ್ ಅನಾಲಿಸಿಸ್ ಇನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಓನ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ರೆಫರ್ ದ ಬುಕ್ ಲಿಟ್ರರಿ ಪರ್ಸೆಪ್ಷನ್ ಪ್ರಿಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬ್ ಬೈ ಅವರ್ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಗೋ ಟು ಯೂಟ್ಯೂಬ್ ಲಿಂಕ್ ವೇರ್ ಸಮ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ವಿಲ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟೆಡ್ ಸಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸ್ಪೀಚಸ್ ಆನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪೋಯಮ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಲಿಸನ್ ಟು ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮೋರ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ವಿತ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮಚ್ ಐ ವುಡ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಟು ಪುಟ್ ಎನ್ ಎನ್ ಟು ಮೈ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟೇಷನ್ ಥ್ಯ